Differentiated learning is about catering for students' needs and um, students that learn at different rates and in different ways. Yeah. The individual differences may influence how students respond to instruction and how they demonstrate what they know, what they understand and what they can do. Individual differences may include differences in cognitive ability, um, students' prior learning experience or prior knowledge, um, learning um, styles and in particular preferences that students may have, um, student motivation and engagement with their learning, and their particular interests or talents. Teachers can differentiate the learning based on how content is delivered, um, the process by which um, students conduct the task or the activity and how the final product is. Hi, I'm uh, Healy produced. and I'm Evie and we're both a part of Miss Cavallo's Year 9 Science Extension class. Over the few weeks we've been doing a National Geographic task where we are supposed to be documenters and we are documenting the effects on food webs and food chains. So this involved various parts of ecology and now we're just evaluating each other's and picking our favourite three from the class. Oh, hi, I'm Ben and um, as the girls have introduced, we also did a National Geographic task recently in which we had to create a documentary styled on the documentaries you'd see on like the Foxtel National Geographic um, channel. Not only did we do this task to um, delve deeper into our current subject we were learning, which was ecology and science, but we also did it to learn, uh, to de further develop our intrapersonal skills and our, for some people we worked in team, teams, our teamwork skills and uh, like bonding with other people, so in the future we can work better with tasks like this. Yeah, hi, I'm Zach and uh, we used applications such as Keynote and iMovie to uh, create these videos and also a thing called Google Docs which allowed the teacher to communicate with us students like per one on one but as a class as well. So all the information was available on this particular page that the teacher created which allowed us to make our videos. The task that we just did was really interesting and there were a lot of cool components. Ben, what did you like most about it? Uh, I found that the, one of my favourite components of this task was the ability that we got to, if we wanted to, we could work on us by ourselves because in most stereotypical classrooms you have to work within a group or in a group and uh, I found it really enjoyable that I could use my personal skills that I believe everyone has. Uh, that's what I thought was good about this task. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, what about you, Evie? Um, I liked that Miss Cavallo like, let us off to do our own thing. Like, there weren't many guidelines and we could get the resources that we wanted whilst it was still kind of structured. Yeah, like and afterwards easy. when we watched it, it was like pretty creative yeah, really and to see everyone else's other ideas. And at the final product, it was really good and it was amazing to see the um, high quality of the other videos. And it was a really good task and I think everyone enjoyed it. And the fact that we could look at each other's and not be like, oh, damn, mine was not very good compared and to And then students were able to provide each other feedback on what they thought about the actual um, videos and it, it was really important that um, students were providing um, constructive feedback to one another. So um, Google Sites has definitely been one of the tools that I have used that has helped me in providing students with differentiated learning and it's allowed students to demonstrate in different ways what they know, what they understand and what they can do. Um, also, at the same time, um, it has been able to allow students to use their preferred learning styles as they um, choose and select the content or the process through which they're going to um, do the, conduct their learning. Um, they, students have developed higher order thinking. Um, they have been able to create um, documentaries and evaluate what they have learnt. Entry created by Amelia Swan. The sea, a peaceful place, a different world to ours on land. In actual fact, some things like spraying pesticides can have devastating impacts on both our land and the, the sea. The sea, a peaceful place, a different world to ours on land.